Hello everyone and welcome to another transfer update with me, David Lynch. We finally have some news about Liverpool making moves for another target. And um, of course, talking about the fact that they've now opened talks with Bayern Munich for the midfielder Ryan Gravenberch. Now, we've known for a while really that he's been a long-standing target this summer. It's been repeatedly reported and we've spoken about him on, on these videos as well, about the fact that, that Liverpool really like him and they have done for a long time and that if there was an opportunity to sign him this summer, then they, they would go for it. Now, obviously, you might ask in that case, then why is it taking so long for Liverpool to make the firm move? Well, it's my understanding, obviously, that Ryan Gravenberch has been the subject really of an internal wrangle at Bayern Munich this summer. There's been some senior figures who have thought, well, he's a hugely talented player who we, we brought in from Ajax only a season ago. Can we not make this work somehow? Can we not get the best out of him? Uh, but obviously Thomas Tuchel has been pushing back on that, doesn't really believe in the player and doesn't think he has a future or has a lot of game time ahead of him at Bayern Munich. And finally, that decision has been made at this late stage of the window that Bayern Munich are willing to sell him now. There's a reported price out there of around 25 to 30 million, something around that mark, uh, which, which makes it a really attractive deal for Liverpool and one that they're going to jump all over and try and get it done in these last couple of days of the window. Obviously, they don't have an awful lot of time, so I, I think that's going to be one that, that has to, well, it has to progress quickly, really, and, and Liverpool really have to push to get that one over the line. But there's clearly a willingness from Bayern's side, which was the big question mark over this all summer, really. They are reportedly in the, in the mix now for Vajal Polina at Fulham, and if they can get that defensive midfielder in, that will give even more sort of willingness there than to, to strike a deal for Gravenberch. Now, we're at the early stages of negotiations. Again, as I say, it's got to move quickly because there's so little time left, but as my understanding as things stand right now as I'm recording this video there's no agreement yet over the fee uh, those talks are still ongoing with Bayern um, the, the the talk last night was, hadn't even actually been a firm offer yet and that was my understanding that that is true it's just talks around what, what a deal would look like what the price is right and if Liverpool are happy with that then they'll progress with the firm offer but as I say with, with Bayern already looking for that replacement and getting in with uh, Fulham for Jao Polina then you think there's there's a real willingness on both sides really to, to get a deal done I think personal terms as well although Although they haven't been discussed yet, are unlikely to be an issue. You know, Liverpool's interest in, in uh, Gravenberch is so long-standing that you think they've very much done their homework on that side of things and on the players' side of things to, to work out what they would need to do contract-wise to, to get him to move to Anfield now. The, the, I spoke in the last video about Gravenberch and the potential for competition from Manchester United, but as things stand, that's looking extremely unlikely. Their priority appears to be striking a deal with Fiorentina for Sophie and Amrabat. And although I understand that Gravenberch would have been open to the idea of moving to Old Trafford because he'd li be linking up with Eric Ten Hag, who was obviously the coach who gave him his debut at Ajax, he is also extremely keen on, on making the move to Liverpool and, and linking up with Jurgen Klopp, which, as you can imagine, with his track record for developing young players, is, is no real surprise that Gravenberch is really keen on that. So big couple of days to come in terms of getting this one over the line I'm sure we'll be hearing soon about a fee agreed and, 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 and then things will really progress from there with the player coming over to, to do his medical and, and agree terms and, and all the you know the bits behind a transfer in terms of doing the club interview and things like that so it's got to move quickly so we, I'm sure we'll be hearing further updates on this as today progresses um, now another big story I want to talk about here and, and, and just briefly really is is that that noise around Mohamed Salah that still won't go away we've been reading reports this week that Al had a preparing a, a mammoth offer that's in the region of around 120 million, I believe. Um, this topic just won't go away. Obviously, Saudi Arabia and Saudi Pro League are so keen to get a play of, of Mohamed Salah standing over there, and he really would be a, a huge statement signing for them. But my understanding is that on the Liverpool side of things, nothing has really changed on this. I, I think, you know, particularly those numbers that are being bandied around, if, if if an offer was to come in that was around 120 million, it's not even worth discussing as far as Liverpool are concerned. That, that figure just wouldn't be even close to giving them a difficult decision to make because I think... As a starting point, they really don't want to sell a player of Salah's importance. He's got two years left on his contract, so they're in a, a sort of strong position in that. And it, it's too late in the window, really, to, to bring in anyone you would consider close to being good enough to be a replacement for Mo Salah. So particularly around the figures that are being talked about, not one that that you can see happening. And I think, you know, maybe next summer, when, when Salah is a year closer to the expiry of his contract, he's got another year in his legs, maybe that will appeal more to Liverpool to maybe make that sale. And I'm sure the Saudi Pro League money will still be there those incredible sums that they're offering but right now not really a goal for Liverpool and I think one we can rule out happening before the end of the window 
there is the little problem there of the Saudi Pro League window going on a little bit longer than the, the Premier League one. But once that Premier League window shuts and Liverpool really can't get a replacement, then he really can put it to bed. And, and I think even now, in fact, before the window shuts, that it's not a topic of discussion for Liverpool. And I think we can rule out that Mohamed Salah is going to leave the club this summer. Now, just a couple of other bits to, to sort of tie up. Nat Phillips, you know, is, is closing in on a move. I reported yesterday that he's on the brink of a season-long loan move to Celtic. I think that would be a, a good move for him. Although, I, I must say, I'm slightly surprised he hasn't managed to get a permanent move away from Liverpool this summer. That was the talk all summer that, you know, this would be the summer where he finally gets that move. And, and I'm sort of surprised because I think he's a, you know, he's shown when he's been on loan before and also whenever he's played for Liverpool, he's not really let them down. I thought that, you know, clubs out there would be interested in him, particularly because Liverpool wouldn't have asked for a, a particularly huge fee or anything i think around 10 million was the the asking price but he's he's now securing that that loan move to celtic so a good opportunity for him to go there and play regular football because i don't think he's going to get that on field and i think in terms of those possible other outgoings as well it's worth mentioning in terms of i think he won't be the last who, who leaves on loan before the end of the window the the, the other younger players who are also getting a lot of loan interest. I think one of them is, is Luke Chambers, who's worth mentioning now. We know he's been a t- target for Bayer Leverkusen earlier in the window. A potential loan deal was the, was the talk earlier in the summer. Uh, that has sort of subsided now and, and, and gone quiet. They haven't really firmed that up, that interest up and, and really moved on it. So, But there there is interest from elsewhere in Luke Chambers. I reported earlier this week that Swansea are one of the clubs who are in the mix for him. So I do expect him to secure a loan move. And I think there are a few other candidates in that squad who could potentially secure loans as well. We, you know, it remains to be seen if Jarrell Quanta is going to be a firm part of the first team squad or whether Liverpool think he's better served by going out and maybe someone like Bobby Clark for example could maybe secure a loan move in the final days of the window that's one that's worth keeping an eye on now just in terms of further incomings as well I think worth talking about obviously Liverpool making that move for Gravenberch, but there's been that talk about them wanting a defender if they can get a deal done. It's been lower down the priority list than, than a midfielder this summer, you have to admit. So I'd I, I not have been as a desperate need as far as Liverpool are concerned, but it's one they've been really looking at and, and looking for opportunities. They're not ruling anything out at the moment. Uh, you know, the way Liverpool are, are, are looking at this, they're saying that, OK, we're, we're, we're ready for opportunity if they come up in the market. We are out there looking for things. And if there are, there's an attractive deal comes up in the final days of the window, then we will pounce. But it's, you know, the, the defender one, it, it, it's getting very late, isn't it? No real concrete links um, emerging with fresh players or anything like that. So we'll have to sort of see how that pans out. The one thing I can say is that I've spoken to uh, Play people around uh, the Hincapiers, uh, entourage, should we say, um, and and that is a player who Liverpool have liked in the past. I spoke about him in the last transfer update as a potential target in the final days of the window, but I'm getting no real encouragement that there's a, or a belief there that 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 he is going to secure a move from Leverkusen. There would be reports in Germany earlier this week that that Leverkusen had basically put the foot down and said that they weren't willing to sell this summer. Uh, they want to keep him. They see him as a key player. So I don't expect him to be the one. If if Liverpool do get a defender, I don't expect him him to be the one they target. Maybe someone else comes back into the mix, like an Arta Teat who I mentioned in the last video as well but again we'll have to see how that pans out one thing it is worth mentioning around that defender is in terms of the Premier League squad with Gravenberch coming in and, and not counting as a non-homegrown player in his first season because of his age that maybe frees up a spot for, for Liverpool to sign a, a non-homegrown centre-back if they can find that that opportunity in the final days of the window but as I say you know, there's a, there's a lot up in the air at the moment in terms of that, and we'll have to see whether things progress. But they will have to progress quickly because there's not very long left in the window. So if you want to keep up to date with it all, I'll be trying to you know, throw out more videos as well and, and more transfer updates as we near that deadline. And should be a really exciting time because Gravenberch to sign, maybe we'll see a defender as well. So a lot to, a lot to resolve in these final days of the window and some outgoings as well. So yeah, please do like and subscribe to keep up to date with it, and I'm sure I'll see you soon.